let's install OBS Studio. First, in our browser, we are going to search for OBS Studio and we are going to go to the official page of OBS project. In there, we are going to be able to find the downloads for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Once you have selected the operating system you have on your computer, you click on download and just wait to download the software. OBS is one of the most common software to record screen because it's totally free and it's for you to learn. There are other options you can find, but remember, some of them will be paid or they will be just a trial. Now that we download our software, we are going to click here and we are going to start the installation. Because it's a shareware software, we don't need to worry about just clicking on next until final to install the software because it's totally safe. As soon as we install it, we are going to set up the settings. In my case, I'm going to select just to record the screen because I don't want to stream. But that decision is up to you. When I finish, it's important to go to Settings and in Output to verify that the downloads are going to be saved on your computer on the specific folder you want. In my case, I'm just going to leave on the video folder. Then when I close here, I can verify all the settings I want. But in my case, this is the only important that I am going to verify. When I close this window, appears the pop-up. I am going to select yes because I want to save the settings. And then I can include essence or sources. It's necessary you to insert a source because it's what you are going to record on your screen. Here you have some options. First, I am going to start with my desktop in that way. I am going to be able to see everything that appears on my desktop, but there are more options you can use to record with OBS Studio. After you have selected all the different options you want to record on your screen, either a window, something that you have on your videos, or even your whole screen, the idea is you to select all the different options that you think you will require to make a really nice video and then start recording. For you to start recording the video, it's necessary to click on start recording on this area and you are going to be able to see what is being recorded on your computer. When you stop the recording, the recording is going to be saved on the folder that you decide at the beginning on the settings and as you can see here is going to appear exactly in the way that you want it to appear. Now that you know the basic form to use OBS Studio is your time to record a video. What is important is you to try to use more than one tool that I show you here and try to explore for all the different resources OBS can give you. Remember that in here, you have the option to control the sound from your microphone or your desktop. Now, it's time for you to play. <laughs> 